Now, everyone here is reaching out. And I thank you all, because you are the ones who actually have made it possible for me to be here. And so we're going to do a very, very big thank you here, an enormous celebration. And in order to do that, I'd like to ask this whole group, the entire group, up to the middle here to stand up. And I'd like for you to turn and look over there. Because if you look over there, you're going to see a group sitting, the likes of which you have never, ever seen. <laughs> they are magnificent, powerful. They do extraordinary work. They're gorgeous, sexy, <laughs> creative, courageous. What else are you? Brilliant. What else? I didn't hear that. Say that again. You're miracles. Indeed. And what I'm going to ask you to do for this group of people here, because they are a mirror image of you, I would like for you to give them the most extraordinary, rip-roaring, powerful, passionate, standing ovation they ever dreamt they would get. Please go! And if you sit down, I'm going to tell you that as far as standing ovations go, you gave them 99%. <laughs> My wonderful mother used to say, whatever you can do at 99%, do at 110%. And so I'm going to invite you to stand up. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you that a long time ago, and this is really one of my favorite stories, I was doing this mutual standing ovation, which I love doing, because as a child of war, I love the world to look like that. Countries standing up to applaud each other, because they're so in awe of the miracle. And so I was getting this other group up, and just as I was going to say, now you go at 110%, and I'll tell you what that is. The door between the two salons opened up. Because while I was inviting 110% passion, Bernie Siegel was doing quiet meditation next door. <laughs> and so the person came in and said, could you tone it down? <laughs> now, I loved that moment. As a Jewish woman, I've found a nickname for God. I call God the kosher choreographer. Yes, the kosher, choreographer, kosher because I'm Jewish, but choreographer because the choreography is uncanny. You see, the truth is that there are times in life where it's appropriate to tone it down. However, so many of us have received the message, could you please tone it down, that we take it as a, li as a way of life. We tone it down. We don't walk around anymore like, hello world, I'm here, and I'm going to give everything I've got to the passion that's in my heart. It's like, okay... You know, I don't know if I should take too much air, too much space. So what 110 looks like, first of all, you jump up and down and you scream like you never screamed before. You throw a piece of clothing. You throw money. You run over to hug somebody and kiss them and... Shake them up and say you're a miracle, bravo, bravo, 110% do anything, get totally out of your comfort zone, be passionate, one, two, three, go!
Well done. Well just for getting out of bed. <laughs> I'm going to just finish with one more story. It's a story that really gave me my philosophy of life. I watched my mother as a child, and I saw that she came out of that terrible experience a joyful person. And she said to me, I'm only a prisoner if I let them take away my joy. Joy is in my fiber, she said. And she actually made people joyful in the camps. She created a birthday party for a little girl who was an orphan. She had people laugh. And growing up in Belgium, where I grew up, people would say to me, your mother saved my life. She, does it say 20 minutes there? Oh. I thought I had two minutes. If I have 20 minutes, we are going to do something great. Ooh, I was rushing there. So your mother made us laugh. She celebrated with us at a time that we were frozen. She let us know we were alive because joy was in our fiber. And there's a wonderful Hasidic story of a rabbi who was always asked, how come you're dancing? How come you're singing? We're oppressed, we're poor, we're hungry. What are you dancing for? He says, I'm borrowing a dance from future celebrations. <laughs> so we're going to do a little borrowing here to up the ante on the celebration in this room. And in order to do this, I would like for you to very, very quickly choose two people who somehow tonight got dressed similarly than you did under any criteria. So quickly find three people and make a little group with them. Three people. Find them. Listen 